Located just a few minutes outside of downtown Pittsburgh lies the venerable steel mill town of Aliquippa, PA, a community with a rich football tradition. In the past 20 years, no school in the Western Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic League has won more football games than Aliquippa High. Meanwhile, its legendary history dates back even further. Many a name has at one time or another graced the halls of this high school. In this community, Mike Ditka and Ty Law and Sean Gilbert, who was the National Player of the Year, Terrell Rivas was drafted in the first round this year, and, and heck, all those kids' fathers and brothers and uncles were all great players here. Yet Aliquippa is a town that's much more than just football yesteryear. The banners on display in the gym point to the dominance on the hardwood as well, especially in recent years as the Quips boys basketball team has captured the WPIAL title in four of the past five seasons. Perhaps the main man responsible for the school's recent run of success in both sports is the subject of this week's story. He's two-sport star athlete Jonathan Baldwin, a teenager that has the region's hopes in both sports right in the palm of his hand. Two plays on the gridiron from the season's past still have the folks of Aliquippa talking. And to those that were there to witness it firsthand, the memories are as fresh as the night they unfolded. When he was a sophomore, uh, caught a little pass over the middle against center, and they had three track guys on their team. And they had a 10-yard head start, and he just burned them all. Uh, made a catch against New Brighton last year that was phenomenal, one-hand catch in the end zone. They ruled incomplete, but if you watch the tape, he was in. You know, I, I think Jonathan's future is ahead of him. I don't think he's even scratched the surface of how good he can be. Perhaps that's because despite the outward appearances, young Jonathan Baldwin wasn't always a talented athlete. In fact, when he was 12 years old, those closest to him couldn't even see a future in athletics. He was always a little too heavy. Well, not little, between 25 and 30 pounds too heavy. So every year, you know, he would come home, he would sign up, and he would work so hard to make the weight. Well, as you can see, he's not a chubby person. So I'm like, well, what are you going to lose? You don't have anything to lose. You have like a 1% body fat. It wasn't even a reason for me to keep playing to, for every week to work hard out there. And then I never made the weight. So I just stopped playing and just, just kept playing basketball. Him being so tall, one of the boys in school said, try out for the basketball team. Never had played basketball. He tried out. He had a didn't have a clue of what he was doing. And it was kind of funny because the first game I seen him play, I'm like, I don't think this is sport for you, you know. Regardless of how things may have appeared back then, his father always knew. Some way, somehow, the spotlight would eventually shine brightest on his son. When he was coming up, we always told him, be humble and he gonna, we knew he was going to you know, get a lot of press and all this stuff, but you know, just most of all, we always told him to be humble and be expecting you know, when you're ready to play, it's going to come to you like that. Today, Baldwin doesn't let the fame or the notoriety go to his head. In fact, far from it. As far as attention and stuff goes, he really doesn't get into that too much. You know, people have put him on pedestals and people have ran up to him and made statements and, you know, he say thank you, but he doesn't let that get to his head because he understands, you know, it only takes one injury. He doesn't want to be the headliner. He would prefer if the whole football team or the whole basketball team we're all in the same situation as him. He's a kid who's willing to help other people. He don't want to look down at anybody, so he's a good kid. Qualities that longtime Aliquippa High School football coach Mike Smionek noticed from almost the beginning. The obvious talent is his size and his speed. I mean, you know, it's, it's uh, hard to, to teach someone to do 6'6 six, six and to run to 4'3", 840. I'm as proud of him for his work ethic, and both on the field and in school. He's done a real nice job in school, and that's why he's gotten as many offers as he has. The best intangible about, about Jonathan is Jonathan's a good guy, you know. I mean, not too many people have that caliber to be a good player and a good guy. Jonathan's both of those. But, um, you know, like Coach Pianic said, it's hard to teach 6'6", 215 pounds, you know what I mean? He's probably one of the biggest wide receivers probably in the country and I know he's probably one of the biggest wide receivers around here but you know you put those two and two together you know it comes out as a winner. Certainly the talented teen has a gift but he doesn't take anything for granted which is why his work ethic has become legendary. Worked very diligently 
at what he's done. It's not just natural. He's worked very hard at learning to catch the ball and to, and to run and to lift weights and do those things. So all the people who, who see the finished product don't see the running the steps and lifting weights at 6 o'clock in the morning, those kind of things. In the summer, same thing. Wake up probably around 6 o'clock, do 500 push-ups. Right after that, I go running. Then when I'm done with that, I go lift weights. Probably about two hours later, I go play basketball. So it's basically the same routine every day. So I'm in, uh, ready for both. When I ever, any time I had to play a different sport, I'll be ready for it. All under the watchful eye of his mother, the senior stays focused, all the while keeping his eyes squarely on the prize. I want to keep him grounded. I don't want him to get caught up in the media hype and for him to lose focus. I just want him to, to realize that you're my son and you're in high school, so don't get carried away with it. People um, probably see me as a person, oh, that's Jonathan Baldwin. My mom and dad, they're all, oh, that's the same old little snotty nose Jonathan from I know back in elementary school and middle school, so just like that. Whatever it is she's doing, it seems to be working. Since midway through his freshman season, Baldwin has wowed the locals with his rare combination of size and athletic ability. I'm tall, 6'6", 220 pounds, I run a 4'3", so that helps me, and I can catch, so that always helps. And it's not just on the gridiron either. On the hardwood, the senior is a do-it-all talent for the defending state champions. In basketball, it's different. Uh, it's a lot of different other, other taller players, but and here it's not too many tall players. Like um, that's a little advantage, and I, I could jump high and I could shoot, so that helps me too. And whether it's on the gridiron or on the hardwood, expect nothing but success from Baldwin. Perhaps with an assist from his mom. After all, no matter what the means, Baldwin is simply too talented and too hard of a worker to fail.